So, what was your first reaction when you learned that there is a discussion panel about space and technologies uh, regarding Space.40 at Polish House in, in Davos? So I decided I, I have to be there, so uh, I was very excited and uh, I saw this just a couple of days before. So it's all brand new, but living in Geneva I'm not very far, so it was great to get your invitation and be able to, to come and participate in the panel. From your perspective, you're a reserve astronaut with ESA, you work for CERN, uh, CERN, in, um, CERN, sorry, CERN in Geneva. Uh, what do you think uh, we need to do as Poland to strengthen our presence in, in, the, in this uh, race uh, to the space? And I'm not just talking uh, about astronauts, but I'm also talking about leveraging all the benefits that countries, can, countries, nations, corporations, civil society can benefit from being in the space and exploring space so I would start with like I really truly believe we have an, a, a huge potential so in the manpower in young people and young generation they are really great engineers and they want to build technology we all want to build technology what we are missing is a bit the expertise and how do we build expertise mostly learning from others there are big companies on the market on the European scale. There is the European Space Agency, and we can contribute to these projects, bringing the expertise to Poland, building companies, and being the bigger part of the market. I think our potential is huge, and I just can hope that in the next years we are going to be developing faster than the whole sector. So if there is any one young person watching us right now and dreaming about being an astronaut or working uh, for space agencies or uh, you know all this kind of infrastructure agencies uh, working in, in space what would you say to those young people watching us to pursue their dreams I love this question and I love talking to young people it's it's excellent I think this is all potential so what I would say is working in science and working in technology is very satisfying on the other hand it's Obviously, you need some time to develop your expertise, your specialty. So be perseverant. Go in small steps, but go forward. Build your expertise. Choose what you love doing and just continue doing this. If you start with basically your, your interests, then you will keep long-term motivation and then everything's possible. What do you think in your life was this game changer the, that enable you, help you to be where you are today? So I think I was very much, um, uh, I, I got a lot of support from my family, from my teachers to pursue what I was good at, what I was cu curious about. I think that was really, really important. Myself, I feel like I'm an explorer. I was growing up doing sports. I like being in the mountains and learning new, new things. So I think this is a bit my character and a lot, a lot of support I got as a kid. Thank you so much and uh, what should we uh, you know, keep our fingers f uh, crossed for, for you, the next, what is the next big thing for you? I hope this is the space flight and I just can't wait to st start my training.